Thanksgiving. So I think y'all will like it. All right, so it says, Billy always eats twice as much as his sister. His sister ate two slices of cherry pie. How many slices did Billy eat? All right, well, the first thing I'm gonna have to do is, right? So I read my problem. Now I'm gonna look for my important words, right? So let's look at this first sentence. Billy always eats twice as much as his sister. Hmm, well, if it says twice as much, Aiden, what am I doing if it says twice as much? Aiden? You're gonna, you're gonna times it twice? Mm-hmm, so I could do two times. I could also do something else. Grace, do you remember what you told me yesterday? What did you say that I could also do? Grace, I don't know if your unmute works now. Uh, it works now. Awesome. Uh, double the number. We can also double because it says twice as much as, okay? So let's look at this next sentence so we know what number we're gonna multiply or what number we're gonna double. His sister ate two slices of cherry pie. Hmm. Well, what's my important word in there? I don't have any numbers, so what's the important word? Emily, what, what am I taking out of there? I'm sorry, you're very glitchy. Can you say it again? Oh. What number am I taking out of this sentence? His sister ate two slices of cherry pie. Two slices. Two. Awesome. Thank you, Emily. Two slices of cherry can pie. I tell you, can I tell you a way to do this? Sure. In division. Oh, in so division? So what you do, yep. What you do is you do the normal multiplication, I mean, division problem, which is, would be, um, First, you got to find your answer. So you do two plus two because it's twice. But okay. because, because two times two equals four. And once you divide four by one, you get the answer two. Awesome. All right. You could do it that way. So we could also do it the way we learned yesterday, which is two times two. Or we can double four. Two. So we know two times two is, can you show me three fingers? What's four. two times four? I mean, oops, what's two times two? I just gave you all the answer. <laughs> what's two times two? Four, awesome. Technically it's two plus two, kind of. Yeah, you can also do two plus two. So that would be if you double, it would be two plus two and it would equal four. So you could do it either way. This is probably one of the only ones that you could do either way, that you could do two plus two times two and you're going to get four, and you can do two plus two and you're going to get four. But the important takeaway from this word problem is making sure we know twice as much means that we're going to do two times or we're going to double. So when you see twice as much as, you're going to do two times or you're going to double. That's our big important thing that we have to make sure whenever we're uh, reading our math problems that we're looking for. Because if we aren't looking for that kind of stuff, then we may miss it and we may not know what we're supposed to do. So we have to make sure we're looking for those. Okay, so let's do, so let's move on to what we're gonna learn today. So for today for math, we're gonna be talking about fact families. Who remembers we talked about fact families before? Because this is definitely not the first time we're going to be talking about fact families. Oh, only Grace remembers? Only Grace? Okay, Isabella remembers. The teen remembers. I know. Walter remembers. Aiden remembers. Holly remembers. Awesome. Camila remembers. Good. Awesome. Awesome. All right, we all remember. So, uh, Hold on, let me see. Uh, um, 
so let's talk about some fact families. All right, so fact families. Fact families are super, super, super important. So for our fact families, fact families, if you remember, they are a group of related Addition and subtraction or multiplication and division. Group of related addition and subtraction or multiplication and division. Okay, so these are when our facts, so either we're going to have addition and subtraction or we're going to have multiplication and division. You're never going to have all of these together. Okay, you're never going to have all of them together. You're either going to have addition and subtraction or you're going to have multiplication and division. But they're facts when they're related together. We've talked about fact families before. We saw them and they were in a little house. Remember this, kind of? Yes, we talked about it. We already raised our hand. We said yes, Ms. Chandler, we remember. We've done this. Okay, so when I have this little house, I usually am gonna have three numbers in here. So these three numbers are all related, okay? They're all related whether it's through addition and subtraction or multiplication and division. They are all related somehow. So we're going to focus on multiplication and division because that's what we want to look at. So we're going to focus on our multiplication and division facts. So if we're focusing on these multiplication and division facts, that means when I'm looking at my fact family, I'm looking at my little house, it's going to look like something like this. Okay, so let's see if y'all can help me fill in my fact family little house. Okay, so we know my three numbers that are related are 5, 15, and 3. Hmm. Yes, right, I didn't go quickly. So I wonder how all of these are related. I wonder how I can put them. So let's look at this multiplication first. Okay, so which number do you know is going to go in this last spot, in our equal spot? Which, which one's going to be our product, Camila? 15. 15, because we know that is our biggest number. So if 15 goes here, what goes here? If it equals 15 for this multiplication fact, what is this one going to equal? Oh, my chat's going off. Let's see. Why are people sending to me in the chat? Oh, yes, Grace, you can go to the bathroom. Grace said 15 is going to go in this one too. Okay, so I'm going to have 15 in both of these because I know 15 is my bigger number, so it's going to go here in my... Uh, product, right? So what's going to go here? What's going to go in my multiplication spot? Aiden, what do you think is going to go here? Seven goes first. Oh, and and then which number is this? Is that seven? 
I mean, I go first, then three, but okay. then do the opposite on the. Awesome. And then do the opposite. So remember with these facts, I told you, you just switch them, right? For multiplication, you're going to take these, this five and three, and you're just going to switch it. Because it, this one, you're going to have five groups of three. But then on the next fact, you're going to have three groups of five. Okay. So on this first fact, you're going to have five groups of three. But then on the second one, you're going to have three groups of five. It's the same numbers and you get the same product, but they're in different places. So now let's look at the division part of it. So what's going to go first? What did I say always goes first with our division equations? Bella, what goes first? Biggest number. The 15. biggest number, right? So 15 is going to go first on both of these. All right, so then what's going to go in these two spots? If I put 15 here, what's going to come next? I only have two numbers left. Three and five. So three is going to go here. Five is going to go here. So then what's going to go here? Bella? Five and then three. Five and then three. Okay. So that's what our fact family little house for five, three, and 15 looks like. So a way you can think about this is to think about it as part, part, whole. Who remembers part, part, whole from Miss O'Don? I know y'all haven't done it with me yet, but I know you did it with Miss O'Don because I remember seeing it in her room. Y'all remember doing part, part, whole? Yeah? Okay. Say, I know y'all did it because I remember seeing it. I walked in there and she had a big part, part, whole sign up. So we're going to think... When we look at this, I'm going to have 15 as my whole. So then what are my two parts? If 15 is my whole, what are the two parts that would go in there? If 15 is the whole, Emily, what's the two parts that are going to go in there? Five and three. Five and three. So I'm looking at this as part, part, whole, right? So I'm remembering that five and three are going to be always tagged with or go with 15. They're always going to be tagged or go with 15. It could also might look like this. Okay. So the big thing with fact families is that I want you to remember is fact families include four sets of facts with the same, oops, I don't know if you can see it, three, numbers okay so fact families include four sets of facts with the same three numbers okay all right 
So usually you're going to see it, and it's probably going to look like this. Okay, this looks like a hot chocolate. But it's going to look similar to this, where they're going to give you the three numbers, and then you're also going to have, they're going to give you the three numbers, and then you might have some that you're going to have to fill in on your own. So let's do this one together, okay? Because this is what your independent practice looks like. So if I have, my three numbers are 5, 8, and 40. Because I know, because those are the marshmallows, right? They're 5, 8, and 40. So what do we know goes here? What's the product? Tony, what's going to go right here? 40. 40. Because we know 40 is the biggest number. So 40 is going to be the product. Well, if I have eight here, what goes here? There's one number missing. Amira, what goes here? What number is missing? Five. Five. OK. Now, what about this one? How, what is this one going to look like? Katya, what's this one going to look like? Remember, you're just going to flip them. So if this is 8 times 5, this is going to be... In the last one for our independent practice, we have our answer in the notebook. Uh-huh. So this one's 8 times 5. What's this one going to be? You're just flipping them. What does it look like if you flip them? Isabella, what does it look like if you flip them? Five times eight. Five times eight. Good job. So here I have five. Oop, oop, I almost forgot that. I have eight groups of five for this one. And on this one, I have five groups of eight. Okay, so I have eight groups of five, and then I have five groups of eight. All right, let's look at the division. We're going to look at the division, and then um, I will let you do, then we're going to move on to our independent practice. So I have 40 here. What's my missing number? Katya, what's the missing number? Eight. Eight. Okay, what's the missing number here? Oh. Emily, what's the missing number here? Eight. Is it eight? This is eight here. I thought I saw 40 at the end. I mean, 40. I thought I saw 40. 40 at the end. You're good. I'm tired. I'm sorry. You're good. So it's 40 divided by five equals eight, and then I have 40 divided by eight equals five. Awesome. So that's what my fact family is going to look like. So if you're independent practice, it's going to look very, very similar to this. Oh, I already have it up. I was like, I was about to look for it. So I gave you, I have, you're filling in the blanks on these first two, and you're going to have to tell me what this missing number is. So like 2 and 12. Well, what would be this missing acorn right here? Or pump, I think it's a pumpkin. I have two and 12. Miss Chandler. Yes. Well, what do we do on the uh, third and the fourth one? I've already like... done this. It's gonna be super easy, because look, what's five? Miss Chandler. You, what? Oh, I'm sorry. Miss Chandler doesn't answer people that are not raising their hands. What is five? Five times what equals 35? If you don't know, you can skip count. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. What number did I get to? Seven. So then you know seven is this missing number. And then you're gonna think, what's the missing number here? Well, what's three times what equals 21? 
Or you can even think 21 divided by 3 equals what? And you could do some equal groups. So there's different ways to figure out what the missing number is going to be. But I promise you this is something you're going to have to do. Yes. Uh, on number three, is the answer really seven? Hmm? Yes. Yes, it's very much seven. Okay, so this is what you're going to do for independent practice. 